Don't shit like that, Jerry. Oh, hi. So how do you feel about your big uncle Matthew graduating? So how do you feel? I feel proud of him, you know. Oh, Matthew! Would you like to share a memory about you guys? Give me his GDS. That one time. In my, in my childhood. How do you feel about Matthew graduating? Oh, I feel happy for him that he accomplished graduating. Would you like to share a memory that you've had with him growing up? Oh, yeah, when Grandpa dropped us. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> when Grandpa was on the bed and Grandpa had him in the car seat, and then when he looked, Matthew was in the car seat. He was in the car <laughs> Grandpa. Uh, how, do you, how do you feel about uh, Matthew graduating? I feel very good. I feel happy because it's the first stop that he's going to start in his life. I give a thanks to God that he's uh, turned to 18 and he's going to not graduate. You know. wow. I feel very good at my heart. What's your best memory of him being your son? Like, his memory is when he was in, uh, in the bus with me when he was a little. You know, uh, he, was asking, he was asking for a little milk. No, the bottle? The bottle? Yeah, oh, asking for bananas. He was going in the bottle. Yeah. Grandma, how, how do you feel about Matthew graduating? I feel excited and happy and so What's your favorite memory about Matthew? Yeah, I remember when his dad playing in the, in, the, in the baseball. He was little, like maybe like one year. How do you feel about what you got to do? Um, honestly, I feel really. <laughs> you're annoyed. I feel really emotional only because we grew up together and he's like my brother, you know. Okay. But I'm, very, I'm gonna cry, but I'm. Shut <laughs> up, I'm gonna cry. Cry. <laughs> The camera, <laughs> the camera. Alright, uh, what's your best memory about what you Um, honestly, there's a lot of memories. Oh, <laughs> My favorite memory is probably when we went to laundry with my grandma, his mom, and I was trying to get onto the counter thing where you pulled your clothes, and I saw and he was cracking his butt. <laughs> <laughs> They're gonna be looking like Carlos's feet. Huh? They're gonna be looking like Carlos's feet. Oh, Good evening. Welcome to the Boyle High School graduation school graduation ceremony of 2022. Can I get a round of applause? At this moment, we will rise to the national anthem. So, oh, may you God. please stand. Take a name. I have a I guess. I got a wedgie bow. I got a wedgie bow. Put your right hand oh, over your heart. Oh, I did it. Ready? Yeah, I had to check which one was right. Nah, I'm just kidding. Wait. Where's the music? Where's the music? Relax, relax. We'll try to relax. Okay. I don't know about standing by the pump for the national anthem. Yeah, my, my legs are already tired. Room. I'd sit down, but people gonna look at me like I'm disrespectful. Who is? Oh, who is this? Matthew tall as hell, boy. 
I could barely record, homie's here. <laughs> oh, yeah. Green giant. What's the key picture? Happy birthday. Congratulations to the class of 2022. Can I get another one? But it looks like uh, it's a photo they use for a funeral. Like when they die. I know we're a small school, but I've never been more happy to be a part of it. Not only was it my school, but it was another home for me. It was a place that offered hope as well as new beginnings. It's not a mystery as to why I ended up here. At the end of the day, my actions have consequences. Our actions have consequences, but ending up here surrounded by all these people right now has to be the best thing I've ever had to do. I made friends for life like Mr. Macias and Mrs. Castellano. As well as people that I have to consider family, like my precious Victoria and Brian. For me to you, I just want to personally say, Que viva la raza! La vida viene con mucho dolor, pero eso es parte de vivir. La vida es una, es un misterio y va a seguir un misterio. So espero que todos aquí sepan eso. Que sepan vivir y disfrutar y llorar y amar. Y amar a esos que están juntos de ti hoy. Y esos que vienen a soportar a nuestros berrinches. Que la vida es muy corta y Dios no perdona. Thank you so much, Melissa. So take a deep breath. You did it. You're here. I did it. You I got here, I did This is your moment. So cherish each, each second. So there's a book called Wonder. Maybe you've cherished. read the book. Maybe it's words that your parents, your abuelos, your friends. Maybe it's a quote that you, you wish that was you. When you go into a Starbucks <laughs> and you read something. So I ask you, what are the words you live by? We've heard Melissa's words. What are your words? Again, is it a quote? Is it lyrics from a song? Maybe it's something on TikTok you heard. And so I'd like for you to think about those words you live by, those words that ring true to you, that'll carry you forward. If you know Mr. Macias well, and I don't know if it's words that he says to you each and every day, but he says them to us all the time. It takes a village to raise a child. And he says that all the time. Se necesita un pueblo para crear un niño. Son palabras que el señor Macías siempre ha dicho. So as you leave today and start the next chapter in your life, I leave with you my precept, my words I live by. Remember always that there is only one important time, and that time is now. So wherever you find yourself, that's the important time. Recuerda siempre que solo hay un momento importante, y ese momento es ahora. No importa dónde te encuentras, es ese momento. The most important one is always the one by your side. And those that are here with you today, those one. are the most You're important right. ones. El más importante siempre es aquel que siempre ha estado a tu lado, que son los que están aquí con ustedes, su familia. And the most important thing is to do good. To do good. That is why we are here. Y lo más importante es hacer bien, hacer las cosas bien. So as you start the next chapter in your life, as you may face challenges, you may face great things, always remember those words you live by. Find those words. And they may change because the words I had as a as when I started teaching are different than they are now. And always, always remember to do good. So congratulations, Wall Heights High School students and families. Again, find the words you live by, share them with others, just like Melissa did, and don't forget to do good. Thank you and congratulations. You did it. We will now continue with our better Victoria Yaneli Bugachi Bugal, who will be attending California State University in Los Angeles this fall. Can we get a round of applause?
My name is Marjorie Perez Martinez, and it is my great pleasure tonight to be this year's Boy Heights High School Salutatorian for the class of 2022. Before I officially start, I would like to thank you all, from teachers to friends and families, for being here in attendance on this beautiful night. You have all had a profound impact on the development of each one of us that will be graduating today. I feel it is safe to say that I speak on behalf of the whole graduating class and thanking you all for all of your efforts and compassion that led us to this very moment. And we're like, we're we are all graduation. capable, in fact. So as long as we have the right support system and believe in ourselves, <laughs> just how we believed in ourselves on making it here and walking on stage and getting our diploma. <laughs> we are here right now because of our hard work and dedication. We are here finishing school and getting our diploma with our families. I want to remind us that it is okay to feel nervous or excited and joy, but one thing is for sure, and that is to enjoy this exciting moment with our friends and family. Remember, today is no small feat, and I am happy to say we did it. Looking at my fellow classmates, I realize that after today, I may not see many of you. As sad as that might be, I am more excited because I have no doubt in my mind that every single one of you sitting in front of me will succeed and be special. Of course, I cannot tell you guys our next step will be easy, but I can assure you, if you guys really put in the work, you guys will make it. In fact, we will make it. Just before I conclude my speech, I do want to say I encourage you, the whole class of 2022, to not only take advantage of the opportunities available to you, but to also follow your heart and pursue a cause of importance to you. The risks are always present, of course, why are you gonna hear his But the breathing? battle always makes the win so much sweeter. Thanks again to all the family, friends, teachers, and support staff for being here tonight. We appreciate you all. Congratulations again to the class of 2022. I wish you all the best of luck. And thank you, Mom, because without you, I wouldn't be here tonight. Thank you. I now want to introduce our proud Boy Heights Continuation School principal, Mr. Alejandro Macias who will say a few words now. Buenas hey, 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 noches. Felicidades, los hijos, sus hijos se recibieron con su diploma. Varios de ustedes vinieron de la preparatoria Méndez, o Roosevelt, Roosevelt Magnet, o Torres, o Boa Heights Magnet, y vinieron con, con retos, ¿verdad? Necesitando los créditos, pero... Juntos lo hicimos, juntos trabajamos, juntos apoyamos a nuestros alumnos, a nuestros hijos a terminar y, y a, a señalar la solicitud para el colegio y, y la solicitud de FAFSA. Hicimos muy, muy bien juntos como un equipo. So, gran aplauso. Uno de los éxitos de nosotros es este año, 46 alumnos se recibieron a tiempo. Que nos pone al promedio de 80% del graduation rate, uh, los alumnos recibiéndose a tiempo. Casi a nivel de Méndez, casi, 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 casi a nivel de Roosevelt. Uh, pero se, se hizo junto, juntos trabajamos y juntos logramos la meta. También logramos 
cinco alum alumnas la aceptaron a, a la universidad. So, un aplauso a los cinco alumnos. So, parents, congratulations, we did it. We helped our child graduate. They made it. I was making sure he was getting hurt. I made sure they heard. A lot of phone calls back and forth. You know, you guys come from uh, different high schools like Roosevelt, Roosevelt Magnet, Mendez, Torres, Boys Magnet. But regardless, with all the challenges that we came with, we made it happen together. And I think that's a life lesson. You can't do it by yourself. If you're a student and you think, I'll do it by myself, no, you're wrong. You need a team. You need your family. You need your mom, your dad, your grandma, your Nino, your Nina, wherever it is, you need them on your side. So. Like Miss Marisela Sanchez Robles says, if he's there next to you, thank them, love them, love them. Okay, they're your support network. Uh, uh, and this is my last thing to say. So now, looking into the future. So you're done with high school. So look into the future. And ask yourself, what do you want to be in 10 years? Okay, what do you want to be in 10 years? Remember, no one can predict the weather, so you have to make it happen. You have to dream and take action. It's one of the leaders in 1968 East LA Walkouts, former LAUSD board member, former principal of Belvedere Middle School and Hollenbeck Middle School. All over, all around the applause for Vicky Castellano. Buenas noches, buenas noches. Primero, uh, doy las gracias al señor uh, Ma Macías, el director, por uh, la invitación y el placer de estar con ustedes esta noche. Dear parents, friends, teachers, administrators, and all honored guests, what an exciting moment and an incredible time in history. There were many obstacles to overcome, but I worked to overcome them, and I saw and I see now. How are you and your boyfriend? How are you and your boyfriend, Nene? Evidence His line, that mom. students of nah, can do. Are you and on your boyfriend? Our <laughs> How are you on your boyfriend? Your high Nene? school, yes, your high school How you your boyfriend? is a symbol of <laughs> Shut up. This too is to be celebrated oh, with graduation. You embarked what on a mission, some answer. willing and some not so willing, you to complete high school and earn your diploma. Fathers, estoy esperando a los alumnos que están esta noche también es una celebración que represente un gran lucha por ellos por ellos y a nosotros. Despite all she the struggles and me. obstacles yes, that were put in front of you and that you may have faced, I hope you realize and accept tonight that you can achieve and a personal goal that success and that success can be achieved. He had to work every day. As children, my yeah, and I were told yeah. that to go to school was like our job. We were to Pick study and to bring home Michael. honor to our family well, and take care of I think I do actually. that devoted and channeled work <laughs> and his rewards. He has <laughs> shared oh, with me many ways to succeed so, and meet your high school requirements. Buenas tardes. Este es el speech de Mr. Molina en español. La mayoría de los padres, abuelos, hermanos, hermanas ya me conocen cuando les hablo por teléfono buscando a su estudiante, preguntando sobre sus calificaciones y asistencia escolar o tal vez como el consejero de Boyle Heights que no habla español. ¿Qué es la persistencia? Persistencia es una cualidad que no permite a alguien que se rinde. 
a pesar de, lo, de que sea algo difícil. Como el consejero escolar, reconozco que mis alumnos se enfrentan a muchas dificultades y obstáculos, como la pandemia, responsabilidades de la familia. He tenido alumnos que tuvieron que abandonar los estudios o faltar a clases por necesidad, necesidad de asistir con pagar la renta, contribuir a los gastos de, del mandato o con el cuidado de los hermanos. He tenido alumnos que batallan académicamente o tienen problemas de comportamiento. Y para ser honesto, he tenido alumnos que nomás no les gusta la escuela. Había un punto donde tuve conversaciones serias con el director Macías sobre esos 14 alumnos, porque no creí que se iban a graduar. Hablé con los 14 alumnos y les dije, si no cambiaban sus hábitos, había una cierta posibilidad que no se iban a graduar de la preparatoria y formarían parte de la estadística de desertar la escuela. ¿Y qué creen? Perseveraron todos. Ellos persistieron y están a punto de ser reconocidos. Gomez Solano, as she will recognize the recipients of College Empowerment, Phoenix Record, and students that got admitted to a four-year college. Good evening, Boyle Heights Continuation High School graduates, parents, caregivers, family, teachers, staff, and guests. My name is Lisette Gomez Solano, and I'm the College Empowerment School Social Worker. And I'm very excited to be celebrating with the class of 22 and their families. This year has been like no other at Boyle Heights continuation. The students return from online learning, motivated to graduate and access higher education. I am thrilled to announce that out of the 46 high school graduates, 37 students will be going to college. That's 80% of our graduates from Boyle Heights Continuation will be going to college. Tres alumnos terminaron pronto en un otro en octubre o diciembre y ya están asistiendo al colegio. Ya terminaron su primer semestre. So estoy muy orgulloso de ellos tres. Si se pueden parar, Serena Arce, Matthew Garcia y Jonathan Russo. That's my boy. Graduated in quarter one or quarter two from high school. And they already started college. They they finished their first semester, and they started in February. There are Serena Arce, Matthew Garcia, and Jonathan Rosa. So congratulations. So if I can have Fiona Arias. Alyssa Caranza Gomez will be going to Santa Monica College. Santa Monica, right. Eric Dominguez will be going to LA Trade Tech. Can you see my camera? Can you see my camera? Felipe Caranza will be going to ELAC. Oh, now it's your fingers. Freddy Jr. Felix Ariola will be going to Trade Tech. Matthew Garcia finished uh, uh, the semester at ELEC. Oh, no. <laughs> Buenas noches a los alumnos, a las familias y al personal de Pueblo Heights High School. Es un honor hablar con ustedes esta noche. Es un honor estar aquí con la mejor preparatoria de Pueblo Heights. Estoy seguro que han escuchado el simbolismo del Fénix muchas veces. Sin embargo, hoy es una gran noche para hablar, para hablar sobre ella una vez más. Una águila renacida de sus propias cenizas. Todos ustedes son Fénix. En algún punto se atrasaron en los créditos en las preparatorias en donde empezaron y a lo mejor se sintieron como si se estaban quemándose, no seguros 
que se iban a poder recuperar esos créditos. Sin embargo, persistieron, no se dieron por vencidos y hoy renacen como las hermosas y los hermosos y las poderosas y poderosos Phoenix. Felicidades, Boyle Heights High School, clase del 2022. Before I go, this is my, my exit. I just want to say, Nada más quiero decir, les quiero decir muchas gracias a mis padres, mi madre, mi padre, mi hermana, mi hermano, y todos ustedes aquí, la escuela de Boyle Heights Continuation School, Mr. Macias, where he go? Ah, oh, shit! <laughs> Un gran aplauso a Melissa Caranza hizo buen trabajo. A Farina Arce. Cynthia That's right, Serena! <laughs> so tiny. <laughs> the stage is so tiny, bro. Luz Arosqueta. What letter are they on the left side? The diploma is going to sit right on your hands, bro. Alfredo Cárdenas Valdez. Valdez or Valdez? Valdez. Alexis Orozco. I guess it's random. It's random. Luis Palacios. 
to cry. Huh? Ooh, you have to try. Well, it's be loud. I am. Freddy Felix Arriola. Damn, I just want to get married. Graduate! 